All right, I'm going to walk through some um, algebra questions, and we're going to factor these following expressions. Factoring is a very common and important thing to do in algebra. And basically, factoring is turning an expression into a product. So here, um, for example, this first one, we're going to use some of these common factoring formulas. In particular, a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. All right, so in this first example, I have 9x squared minus 100. I recognize that that's the same thing as saying 3x quantity squared minus 10 squared. So using the common factor formula, that you, this one you definitely want to know. It's called the difference of squares. That's 3x minus 10 times 3x plus 10. And there it is. It's factored. All right, for part B, we have a trinomial, 4x squared plus 11x minus 15. And there are a lot of techniques for factoring quadratics like this, um, quadratic formula, completing the square, and so on. I'm going to show you just a, fa a factoring technique that I like to use. Other teachers may teach differently, but this is the one I like and the one I teach. So what you do first is you take these, la these outer terms, 4 and negative 15, and you multiply those together. So in this case, it gives me negative 60. And what I need to do here is I need to figure out two things that multiply to give me negative 60 and add to give me 11x. Okay, so we start thinking um, maybe negative 6 and 10. Those don't add to give me 11. Um, and you keep playing this game, negative 3 and 20. That doesn't work. After a while, you may stumble upon, or you should, negative 4 and 15. And those add to give me positive 11x. Why I like this technique is this is the only guesswork that you have. All right. So now I bring that in, and I have uh, 4x squared plus, instead of 11x, I'm going to say a minus 4x plus 15x minus 15. All right. Now what you see here is that if I add these middle two terms, I get the 11x again. So I didn't really change anything. But what this will allow me to do is uh, factor by grouping. And what that means is I'm going to put my first two terms in a group and my last two terms in a group. Don't forget this is a 15. The parentheses kind of covered it up. And out of the first two, I can factor out a common factor. I can take out a 4x. And when I do that, I'm left with a x minus 1. Okay? And the second group, I can take out well, I have a 15x minus 15. I can take out a 15 out of everything. And when I do that, I'm left with an x minus 1 in the second group. Now I have two terms, and they have a common factor. The common factor is the x minus 1. So I factor out the x minus 1. And when I do that, out of the first group, I'm left with a 4x. And out of the second group, I'm left with a 15. And there it is. It's factored. All right, now we can use factor by grouping for part C as well. This is not a quadratic, uh, but it's, it'll still work. So here I'm going to factor my first two terms and then factor my second two terms. And out of my first two terms, I can take out an x squared. When I do that, I'm left with an x plus 1. And in my second group, I, have, I can take out a 3. And again, I'm left with an x plus 1. And by the same reasoning, I have two terms now that have a common factor the common factor is the x plus 1. So I can take out the x plus 1. Out of my first group, I'm left with x squared. And out of the second group, I'm just left with a plus 3. So there it is. It's factored. Okay, now moving on to part D. Uh, here we have an x to the fourth. So those can be tricky in general. This one's not too bad. First of all, I noticed and this, the first thing you should always look for are common factors. And I do have a common factor. I can take an x out of everything. And when I do that, I'm left with an x cubed plus 8. Now, what I remember is that 8 is actually the same thing as 2 cubed. Okay, so I have something cubed plus something cubed. And if I look at my common factoring formulas, there is a sum of cubes formula. a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Um, You'll just have to kind of know that when it comes up. It's not always easy to remember. But here, my a is x, and my b 
is 2. So this guy then becomes x times, now we'll use um, the sum of cubes formula for the, the middle part, we get x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. And this quadratic will not factor. Uh, you could try using quadratic formula. Um, you'll see you'll get complex numbers. So in terms of real numbers, it won't factor. So here we have it. We're done. Okay, now part E may look like the most confusing because it um, has these, these uh, fraction exponents. So the trick is here is I'm actually going to take out a common factor of x to the negative one-third. Okay, so when I do that, what that means is whatever uh, I have in the middle, so if I have x to some power, when I distribute that negative one-third across to that power, I should get this five-thirds again. Okay, so since I took out a negative one-third, I'm going to add in a positive one-third, so that's going to be the six-thirds power. And if you notice, if I distribute that negative one-third across x to the six-thirds, I get x to the five-thirds. Then I have a five x to the same idea, three-thirds power, because when I multiply in the x to the negative one-third across there, it gives me x to the two-thirds. And lastly, I took out x to the negative one-third, so this is just going to be a positive four. And if you notice, if you try to distribute across, you'll notice you'll get exactly what you had. Well, why this is nice is because now I have x to the negative one third, negative one third power. In the middle, I have x squared plus five x plus four, and that looks like something we can deal with. In fact, um, this is a simple trinomial. I just need to multiply. I mean, two things that multiply to give me four and add to give me five. So that's going to be x plus 4 and x plus 1. And there we have it. All right, now remember you're going to need to know some of these common formulas, so I'll leave them up here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to help. Thank you.